Hi everyone and welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about from Digital Marketer. Please subscribe and type subscribe in the comment section below. Digital marketing is the act of promoting products and services through digital channels, such as social media, SEO, email, and mobile apps. Any form of marketing that involves electronic devices is considered digital marketing. It can be done online and offline. In fact, both kinds are important for a well-rounded digital marketing strategy. Do you want to learn more about digital marketing? This guide will cover everything you need to know to get familiar with digital marketing. As a young kid in California, my experiences from the backseat of our car mostly alternated between Mom, when are we there? And I'll oh, look, McDonald's, can we go? Whenever one of those 10-foot billboards popped up on the side of the road. Growing up with Indian parents, the answer to both of those would, most times, be the same, not yet. Sometimes big brands would even start a billboard war like this one between Audi and BMW, which got quite a few laughs. In 2015, many of my clients spent hundreds of millions of dollars on billboard advertising. Today, most companies have moved to online marketing. That's because Google and Facebook generate more revenue than any traditional media company. After all, they control more eyeballs. That's why digital marketing matters. It's where the attention is. The reason why billboards like the ones above will die is because the future of driving will look like this. Although driverless cars already exist, drivers still have to pay attention. As the technology improves, not a single passenger will spend their time looking at the road. Do me a favor, take a peek at the passenger seat the next time you give someone a ride. Just for a second. Chances are, they'll be looking at their phone. Who will see those advertisements if no one is looking at the road? What's more, the share of people spending more time using electronic devices continues to rise. While print advertising continues to decline, that means you don't have much time to figure out this digital marketing stuff. Nearly 5 billion people worldwide go online to shop, learn, entertain themselves, and even work. If you want to reach those people, digital marketing is a must. Maybe you think you have a local store, so you don't need to worry about digital marketing. You'd be wrong. According to Google, 88% of people who conduct a local search on their smartphone visit a related store in the next week. You'll miss out on that traffic if you're not online. Digital marketing also provides access to more data and analytics about your customers, how they navigate the buying cycle, and what they want. You need to understand and know how to leverage digital marketing for your business to succeed. Shortly after his demonstration in England, more signals were transmitted across open water. They bought show tickets. The two main pillars of digital marketing are online marketing and offline marketing. That said, since I'll talk about online marketing in a separate guide, I'll only mention the different areas of online marketing here for the sake of completeness. Enhanced offline marketing is a form of marketing that is done offline, but enhanced with electronic devices. For example, if your restaurant uses iPads for your customers to place orders, then the offline experience of eating Thai food is enhanced with this electronic device. People have been using digital media to enhance their marketing for decades. Next, there's radio marketing. The next time you hear an annoying, over-enthusiastic car dealer shout every word of his or her commercial, thank Mr. Marconi. Of course, we can't forget television marketing, which has been around for more than half a century. Phone marketing is the biggest and fastest growing area of offline marketing, with admittedly many flops, busts, and failures as well. What's the difference between a billboard somewhere in the desert of Arizona and a billboard in New York City's Times Square? The size, the product, three letters, LED, light emitting diodes. All of the billboards in Times Square are electronic. All of the billboards in Times Square are electronic. Why? Because in the desert of Arizona, no one's competing with you for people's attention. If you have a billboard at all, you win. In Times Square, attention is probably more valuable than anywhere else in the world, with more than 360,000 visitors each day. If you want to be distracted, there are buses, taxes, promoters shouting, and then of course, the electronic billboards. Some of them are even interactive, showing live feeds of the people on the square or pictures of customers. Renting a billboard space on Times Square for just one day can set you back over $50,000. Here's another example. What do you see when you walk into an Apple store these days? People leaning over iPads, MacBooks, and iPhones. Product demos should be an important part of your digital marketing strategy if you have any type of electronic product. Another example is those free trial CDs that AOL sent out in the early 90s. You may remember those were everywhere at one point. All those CDs may have been annoying, but they are likely a big reason for AOL's early success. In recent years, radio made a smart move having the hosts read out advertising sponsorships at the beginning of shows. To create a sponsorship, find your local radio stations with a quick Google search. 
Find a station whose audience reflects your company's target demographic. Radio stations should be able to provide you with the data that helps you select the right fit. For example, if your company sells maternity products, you want to find a radio program whose average listener is a female between the ages of 24 and 40. If you go the traditional radio advertising route, the key is to be entertaining and catch the listener's attention. Television marketing is so huge, it's unlikely to ever fully go away. However, it is changing as consumers move away from traditional television in favor of streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime. Though cable TV ads are harder to target, the right audience have a low ROI compared to other forms of digital advertising and generally seem irrelevant in the digital age, there is one type of television ad that may still be worth it, but it will cost you big. Remember I mentioned renting a billboard in Times Square can cost $50,000 a day. A 60-second commercial aired during the Super Bowl costs $5.6 million. The often viral and memorable commercials still pay for themselves thanks to the cross-pollinating effect. Roughly 10% of all TV commercial-related shares on social media come from Super Bowl ads. So do about 8% of all views on YouTube that go to TV commercial videos. If your commercial makes it to the blacklist, commercials the network decides can't be shown on TV, the viral effect is usually even stronger, like the infamous Carl's Jr. ad that couldn't be shown in the 2015 Super Bowl. Please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to receive more of this awesome content as it is released. Thanks for watching.